How's it going, everybody? This is the Erroneous One here with the new Kingdom Hearts Union Cross update video. We did get a new uh, update from yesterday, which does coincide with the 0.2 Aqua banner um, when they were saying there will be conditions uh, with which to get a hold of that 0.2 um, Terra and Ventus medal. Uh, the second condition was listed today. Uh, it is the 0.2 King Mickey. Uh, not a bad little medal there. Uh, same deal as last time. You're going to get two Tier 4 or higher medals guaranteed, plus um, eight other five-star medals of varying... Uh, levels from tier 2 up to tier 5 potentially which is nice um he's pretty neat uh he is a tier 5 uh, aoe does cost four and deals nine hits he lowers power base defense of all targets by two tiers for two turns and inflicts uh, more damage to higher hp so essentially he's kind of like a p upright power version of hd roxas only hd roxas's ability only lasts for one turn um instead of two turns um so there's that and i'm not sure about their um the multipliers or anything, if they're even out in that regard. But, kind of similar. And he does, and this Mickey just deals one more hit as well, so. Um, I guess the Mickey has a slight edge overall in terms of, like, power output for the most part, but, um. There is that. Um, it is conditioned, blah, blah, There's no guaranteed, uh, mercy pool in this one. This one conditioned below two. We'll get the next, uh, announcement on, um, the second, which is probably gonna be key art eight. So, with that being said, guys, this is my suggestion for this one. And this is kind of what I'm thinking now. Um, I did a lot of pulls earlier for 0.2 Aqua. Only got one of her uh, out of, uh, I think it's about 60k jewels spent. But I did that mainly for traits. And again, and if you guys want to go watch that previous update video, I went over some medals I traded. The traits worked out really, really well for me. I mean, I got some really good medals set up um, for, for multiple things. For raiding, uh, for general usage, and then for Coliseum. Um, which means tomorrow's the last day to push for Coliseum, so tomorrow I will be doing a stream uh, for a few hours. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I think it might, might be a slightly longer stream tomorrow. Cause I am going to push a Coliseum. Um, I do believe I can get top 100 in Coliseum as of right now. I want to try and see how far I can get, so we'll go into that, um, which is good for me. But for this one, I'm not pulling for it. Um, you're, it's your guys' choice, as always, whether to pull for it or not. For new players, it's still a, it's still actually a very decent deal, considering you're going to get two tier four or higher medals guaranteed for each pool. Um... Myself, though, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to pull for this one. Uh, and mainly, you got Kira, even Kira 8. I'm not going to pull for Kira 8 either. My main reasoning for this one is going to be, um, if they come into a, a high score challenge, I might pull a bit for them, potentially. Uh, not a lot. Maybe like, maybe like five or so pulls, maybe. We'll see. Uh, but the thing with this one is, both these right here, they have nine more days on them. There's over a week left on them. And on the second, uh, which is going to be, what, in, yeah, it's going to be on Friday. So in about three days, we are going to get the next condition, which is probably going to be Kiar 8. So there are going to be three tier 5 medals to choose from at that point in time. If they're going to announce a high score challenge for this week with these deals, they're probably going to announce it either at Friday when Kiar 8 comes out, or they'll announce it Sunday night for when Monday hits, and then the high score challenge will rock then. If there's going to be one. I'm not sure there's going to be one or not at this point. Um, well, have to, again, I have to wait and see. At that point in time, you know, you can choose whether or not you want to pull more in order to uh, do better in the high score challenge. Um, <clears throat> so there is that one. Um, I don't know what attribute... Hang on, let me actually look it up real quick. Because um, that's going to be interesting too. Uh... And that is... He's a magic one. So we're going to have two magic medals uh, and, a, and a power medal, potentially, potentially for the um, high score challenge that may show up. So that's, that's a possibility there for that one. Uh, I kind of thought it would have been a speed one, just to, you know, even have the attribute types and everything. Maybe, like, it'll, maybe it'll be another one where you pick the path and you can go through the path that's better for you. Um, who knows, in this case. Um, but we, you're going to have options there, and that's, that's going to be good to go through there for it. So that's not too bad. Um, but again, I'm not going to pull for these ones, mainly because pretty soon we're going to start getting those EX medals. And those EX medals are stupidly powerful. Um, the first one on, on the listing should be, uh, EX Cloud. Uh, and the JP version, I know that he was a 20 pull Mercy. I am not going to pull 20 times that one medal. I might pull 10 times on that medal and hope I get lucky and pull one or two so I can guilt it, um, in there, but... He's good and all, but again, I'm not going to break the bank and go on for this one in particular. Um, I imagine that if we're going to get a high score challenge, it will be linked with EX Cloud coming out as well. So I'm, that's what I'm kind of thinking. I'm not sure if there will actually be a high score challenge involved with 0.2 Mickey, um, Aqua, and Key Art 8. Um, if anything, I think they'll probably wait for maybe, maybe uh, they probably wait uh, for Cloud to come out. 
and then link him to a high score at that point in time. Because everybody, a lot of people are going to pull for those EX medals. Cloud in particular, for how strong they are. Um, and that'd be a really good way to get people to pull even more. It's like, hey, you know, not only are you going to get this, this medal, which... If JP got that 20 Mercy pull, I imagine we'll get something similar to that one. But they're probably going to go, hey, you want this medal, you know. Not only do we give you incentive and this cool medal and how powerful it is, but also a high score challenge is linked to it. So pull, pull, pull. Um, not a bad business strategy in that regard. If they choose to do it that way, this is it's merely an idea. Who knows? We could get two high score challenges um, soonish, uh, you know, for, for these guys and then for, for Cloud. Who knows? But uh, the, the EX medals are coming, guys. So I'm going to start saving my resources for those things. Um, even the new uh, World of Final Fantasy medals coming out uh, that JP got, um, I'm not really going to pull for those either because I already have them. And I have them traded the way I want them for the most part. The only ones I want a few different traits on would be um, Cloud, not Cloud, I'm sorry, not, uh, Squall and um, Tama. Uh, other than that, I got good traits on the other ones. I got uh, plus 1,000 strength on uh, Sephir uh, Sephiroth and on Waffle Lightning. Um, I got double cast on Cloud. You know, uh, I got a thousand strength on Yuna. Um, Tama has uh, two thousand defense, and I think my uh, Squall got like a one of the uh, stash resistances. Nothing too big or bad there, but I'm pretty set on the waffles. The two new ones are nice, but I'm not gonna worry about them too much. Um, the new one, aside from that, would also be uh, coming out pretty soon. Potentially, would be the Sum Sum medals. Those give you general defense down. I'm kind of interested in those ones. Uh, because General Defense Down is a game changer in Kali, but, um, I don't know yet. I mean, a lot of that will be dependent upon what traits you get on them for the most part, and I'm kind of set for traits for General Defense Down up to a point. I mean, I do want double cast on them. Like, if I can get double cast on, like, my Key Art 3 or, uh, my Illustrated Ansem, I would be supremely happy. Um, I did get it on my, uh, Key Art 7, uh, so that, that was very lucky on my end, um, so I'm doing okay for uh, def general defense down for the most part. I would like some more AOE versions of it, which if I Dragon Maleficent will be a, a pretty big focus for me for Coliseum runs and everything. But for the most part, you know, I'm not just saving resources primarily for those EX medals and for 0.2 Kyrie. I mean, that's just the way I'm going to start running the game because uh, that's the way it needs to get done, uh, from, at, least for, at least for my version of the game for now. But uh, for this one, like I said, guys, I would wait to pull. We have time to pull. No big event has been linked to them, uh, to these new medals yet or anything. You still have over a week to decide if you want to pull from them or not. Um, there's time. Uh, and again, a lot of this time, uh, it's as uh, a lot of people say for the game. It can be a bit hard at times, but a lot of the times you're better waiting. Just wait a bit longer, wait for a few more days for things to go through, um, and then start doing things in the game. You know, once you're once you're kind of at that zero hour or once they actually announce something. Um, that's the way. To, that's the way to pretty much run the game. Cause like you said, if you spend money on these ones, and then next week they did a uh, Cure Eight, or they just surprise us randomly with like you know EX Cloud, and people spend on getting a 0 0.2 Mickey, well, and you kind of waste your resources there, unfortunately. Because between the two of those medals, you're gonna want the EX Cloud over the Mickey. So there's that. Uh, but then that's what that's my take on it. It was a pretty small update. Um, I'm going through and doing proud mode right now as well, guys. Um, I'm probably not going to record this one mainly because I'm kind of going in and out of my place right now. Uh, I got some stuff going on with my uh, family at the moment, so um, nothing, nothing big, nothing big or bad. It's just I'm, I'm going from from my home to my mom's home like off right now, so I don't have time to actually sit down and stream um, for the past few days, unfortunately. And tomorrow I want to dedicate to Coliseum because, like I said, I am ranked where I'm at 326, so I'm pretty close. I mean, and I can and I'm still pushing easily. I'm still one turning pr pretty easily. So, I want to see how far I can actually get into Coliseum. I'm at round 76 right now. I want to try to push for top 100. It'd be nice to get three of those second chance pluses as opposed to only two. But, you know, we'll see in the future. Uh, in terms of uh, proud mode, uh, I'll be coming out pretty soon with that one. I'm doing these ones. I am on mission 182 now, so I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm going to try and finish them tonight um, if I'm able to between, like I said, family stuff. Um, and if I do, then I'll be coming to you guys pretty almost immediately with a... Two different videos. One will be uh, me upgrading my Fenrir and maybe Counterpoint, maybe um, Sleeping Lion. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get Fenrir as far as I can take it, and then I'll focus on the other ones. Uh, I'll choose what I'll focus on. Uh, Sleeping Lion initially wouldn't have been an issue or a thought process in regards to that one, except for the fact that uh, I have it already at 25. So for the Electrum Ore, as some as some very uh, helpful people commented earlier, um, it's about I think a. Uh, 100, 100 Electrum, 100 Electrum ores in order to get them to 25. 
Uh, we're only going to add the 250 right now, which means one of the metals, one of the keyblades, be the counterpoint or the um, counterpoint or the finner when, when I get a hold of it finally, won't be. Um, I won't be able to take the max uh, to 25 just yet before you start using the uh, sun gems. So I'm gonna have to focus on which one I want to utilize. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go on a sleeping line because, like I said, I have plenty of um, not only sun gems but also um, speed gems too. I can take it up pretty pretty far. Uh, but again, we'll, fo we'll focus on the uh, Fenrir first, and then I'll decide the other ones, and then once we get the next power missions, then I'll, I'll take up Counterpoint, and start getting those out there, uh, which would be pretty good. So, that's the state of the game, that's a quick update, um, that's me for me on my end. Uh, for Andre, uh, Andre, uh, you've been commenting on my previous video about my, um, Illustrated Aqua, about how I guilted it, but there were no traits on it and everything, um, uh, because I guess somehow in the video it didn't show traits for some reason on it, but, just so you see, this is just for you. Uh, where is she? She is hiding down here. There she is. 105, guilted winner here, traded, strength plus a thousand on both. Like I said, I had a, a double uh, double strength plus a thousand on her, so she's pretty, she's looking, she's looking pretty good right now in regards to that. But there you go, that's, that's for Andre. Um, that's me, guys. Like I said, I'll be doing family stuff, doing Proud Quest right now. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be streaming for sure and doing uh, Coliseum, and I'll, that'll be my push for that one. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great night, and good luck on your uh, final pushes. Don't forget, tonight is the last night you can do the multiplayer, so if you guys want to try and finish off any of the multiplayer boards or get a few more of those nodes unlocked, tonight's the last night because tomorrow it resets, and we're going to get some new multiplayer stuff coming out for that one. So there is that. So make sure you guys go and complete those boards. Um, and get ready to finish off uh, Coliseum because tomorrow, be tomorrow will be the last uh, day for Coliseum. And, of course, people are going to push pretty hard on the last day to try and get those final levels uh Finals level, final rounds knocked out, myself included. But you guys have a great night. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. See ya.